Okay, here's a video that I hope is especially useful to Lid Motor, who is looking for a way of tuning up a Slayer Exciter. Uh, what this circuit is, is a Slayer Exciter, the regular 22k to the base, the 1M4148 and the LED to the base as well. But what I've added is a picofarad tuning capacitor from the base to the collector of the transistor. There it is there. I haven't actually got two of them, which will be one of the upgrades I'm hoping to post. But these two circuits are exactly the same. And the idea was to get a low current uh, thing to work, a circuit to work, so I could reuse these really. This is a bag of triple A's that uh, are no good anymore. This one there with an X on it is down to 1.2 volts and they're all very low so they work on an, an IMH as well. The tubes um, have been wound with 170 turns of 28 AWG onto old solar tubes. So I'll just start the thing up. Well, you can see this one powers on and then from it being picked up wirelessly by a 72 turn coil and a couple of diodes is this second circuit which is nicely tuned up because from the pigtail of the coil which kind of brings in Dr. Stifler's SEC work we go down here all the way down here on the one wire to a heat sink, piece of wire, AV plug and there's a light on and one side of which is then connected to another PC um, heat sink as a sort of virtual grounding. So that's the kind of thing I want to explore too, is to uh, uh, the single wire stuff. And in fact, I'll add a thing on the end here where I try it out with a tub of soil. So anyway, so the tuning itself. Now, both of these have got ferrite rods inside from uh, portable FM radios. If I take this one out of here, see if I also, if I hold the thing, it actually gets brighter there. If I take this rod out, Wait a second. There we go. Right, you should first of all see, well, there we go, it's gone out. Comes back on again if I completely remove it. There we are. So there's one version, one version of the tuning. But now, even though that one has still got the rod inside, I can put this coil right close or whatever. That is not going to switch on. There's nothing going on over here, and the circuit itself won't start unless I put this ferrite rod back in. So at some point here we should see, there we go, the other circuit comes back on again and so does the LED at the end. Now also the tuning capacitor, I should really have a, a, a plastic screwdriver for this but so, so it should probably affect the tuning, there we are, as I put that in. But anyway, so what you'll be able to see hopefully on this second one is that when I turn the screwdriver there is a brightness change, it does tune it in and out, it's quite subtle like this, um, it's more noticeable um, sometimes than others depending on the strength of the battery and what I'm using as a pickup coil on the second one. But you can see there the light on the, on the first circuit, you can see it quite readily really as I turn it, the light comes in and goes back down again and that's the kind of tuning opportunity um, just from using one of these, uh, these little picofarad type uh, tuning capacitors. So there we are, that's roughly about right, that's about the brightest, the two are about the same brightness which is quite interesting and then over there and of course that LED is on. Okay so on the end now as I say I shall add the uh, the bit with the soil experiment and I'll hope to add to this uh, in time and hope it's of use to you blood motor as well. So here's hopefully something interesting. Uh, what I've done is brought the outdoors indoors. This is the longest thing I could find that I could put soil in. And uh, yeah, it's a, a foot and a half or something of um, foam. And what we've got here is the is a double A connected to the first circuit. Wireless pickup going on, 72 turns of 40 gauge uh, AV plug into the second one, which you can see that the light is nice and bright there on the second one then from the pigtail on the end of the coil that goes into the soil right down this end here and then with quite a sizable gap of a good two or three inches there um, there's my hand for comparison we have this LED here on an AV plug and one side of which goes down to a large heatsink from a uh, PC but um, if I change the tuning on this, uh, also it's reflected in the end. It's very difficult to see actually, I suppose, with my hand in the way and such. But if I turn, change the tuning, 
Uh, let's see now. You can see that light's actually gone off there on the first one. If I turn it though, you'll see the second one will change. And it comes there, and then it comes back in again. And also that changes down there on that LED. You can perhaps see, very difficult I know, but you can perhaps see that the light is brightening and dimming. And uh, yes, it's just a very sort of interesting setup for outdoors for one wire transfer using the ground as well as one wire. <laughs> That's kind of the idea behind that. Um, so now that these two are sort of resonant with each other and they do transfer power very well, as you can see, the LEDs are actually quite well matched um, and also able to transfer right over here to this one. It just makes me think a little for outdoors experiments. And here we are with that uh, 1.2 volt battery with the X on it and that's running it and uh, there we are with the light on at the end so yes the point being that I want to extend the distance between that first um, inserted rod and the second one uh, hopefully to the whole length of this and do that through the tuning open it doesn't matter if it's raining outside or whatever so there we go anyway that's a introduction hopefully there'll be more to come with this and thanks for watching